Hey guys, this is Dr. Dwayne Wood from Diabetes and Endocrine Wellness Center and the Light Away in Huntsville, Alabama. Today we're going to talk about stress and how stress affects your blood sugars. Let's get started. One of the biggest things that we talk about when we discuss blood sugars and diabetes with our patients is how stress affects their blood sugars. And I usually tell them that there are four different areas that um, causes stress or that we think about when we talk about stress. That's sleep, stress, anxiety, and depression. And the way this works is remember that the body uses sugar for energy. It uses glucose. So it is the sugar, it is the power cell for the body. It's kind of like going to the gas station, putting gas in your car, and driving. As you drive, that gas goes down, and then you've got to go back to replenish. The same thing with the body. There are uh, sugar molecules that come from the food. Uh, there is energy that comes from the proteins that we eat. Uh, energy that also comes from the fat that we eat. The body breaks all those down and it provides energy. Uh, the most ready source of energy, however, comes from the fact that we are eating carbohydrates. Those carbohydrates get broken down and ultimately they provide energy for the body. So anytime that the body needs more energy, the blood sugars will go up. I want you to hear what I said. Anytime the blood the body needs energy, the blood sugar rises. So that means that if you didn't sleep well one night, when you wake up the next morning, your body's got to keep you alert, got to keep you awake. And what does it do? That's right. It gives you energy. And we just said that the energy source in the body is glucose or sugar. So if you didn't sleep well one night and you check your blood sugars the next morning, guess what? That's right. You got it. Those blood sugars are elevated. If you are uh, stressed or anxious and you're in that fight or flight mode, right? So either you're getting ready to handle your business or you're getting ready to run, right, for safety. In either of those places, your body needs energy. That's right. It needs energy to be able to run, to be able to fight. And we just said once again that the uh, energy source for the body is sugar. And so if you're stressed, if you're anxious, guess what? There you go. Those blood sugars are rising again. If you are depressed, if you're in pain, any of those things, the body needs to kind of keep you going, keep you going through that, keep you going through the depression, keep you going through the pain. And the way it does that is by filling you full of energy. So if you're in pain, if you're depressed, guess what? Here comes that energy from the body. Those blood sugars are rising. So anything, and I call that the final common pathway, anything that requires energy, that the body needs to generate energy, will cause that blood sugar to rise. So I want to say a couple points about that. Number one, it's not always food related, right? So we think a lot of times that it's food. And if you are someone who has diabetes, and I'm talking specifically for diabetics right now, if you have diabetes and you are constantly looking at the food as the source of your elevated blood sugar, you become frustrated because you're cutting back and eating well and you're exercising and you're doing all the things that you've been told to do. And if those blood sugars are still rising, take a look at the fact that you may not be sleeping. Are you stressed? Are you depressed? Are you having any anxiety? And you may find that those are the reasons that your blood sugars are rising. So it's not always a food issue. I'll give you a personal example. When I wake up in the morning, if my blood sugar is about 110, 120, if I leave home, I don't eat anything, right? I don't drink anything. I get in my car. When I walk through the door at my office, if you check my blood sugars, it's gone from a 115, 120 to 180, sometimes up to 200. Just by the fact that I've left my home and I've gone to the office and just to get ready for the day. So once again, it's not a food related issue. So what do you do if your blood sugars are being elevated because of stress? 
you can't always get rid of the stress. If you can, that is a perfect option. If you are able to remove yourself from the stress, if you're able to get out of that stressful situation, by all means, that would be the perfect way of managing those elevated blood sugars. But as we know, life happens. And so we can't always get away from those stressful situations, but we can respond differently. That is, you can't, that's right, you can't change the situation, but you can change how you respond to the situation. One, take a moment. Get away just for a brief moment. Collect yourself. Count if you need to. Uh, you know, I tell the story that a lot of times I'll count things. I'll count leaves on trees. I'll count water drops as I'm in the shower. All of that takes my mind off of whatever is going on and centers myself. Take yourself in your mind to a different place. Uh, one of my favorite places uh, ever that I've ever been to is a place called St. Simon's Island, which is right off the coast of Georgia. And I just imagined myself in that place, in that position. We were uh, having such a good time. It, it, it drizzled rain just a little bit while we were there. I love rain, by the way. That's why I say that. Um, so, so I take myself there and I'm able to uh, center myself. You may have to count, as I mentioned before, right? You may have a hobby that you do, whether it's drawing or music or writing, but something that will allow you to, in that moment, remove yourself from that situation. Because when you come back, believe it or not, you're going to be much more able to deal with whatever is going on. And if you're able to calm yourself, wusa, if they, as they say, if you're able to do that, you will find that those blood sugars will be much more controlled. So that's my challenge to you today in this video. If you are finding that the blood sugars are elevated, it's not always a food issue. It's not always an exercise issue. You can do those things. They do help. But sometimes it is the stress that's causing it for all the reasons that we just described. So your challenge for this video is to find a way to deal with the stress. All right, guys, if you have not already done so, if you're getting some benefit from the videos that we're doing, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell so that you'll get notifications when we do new videos. Share this video. Give us a thumbs up so that we know that you are uh, liking what we're seeing. Also, drop us comments. We are so excited whenever you guys comment when you ask questions. We're building a community here, and this is a place of education. Remember also that we are trying to achieve 1,000 subscribers by December. That is December 31st of 2021. We want to grow this community. We want to grow this channel. Thank you for watching. This is Dr. Dwayne Wood from Diabetes and Endocrine Wellness Center and The Light Away, educating the public for a better you.